Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? You may notice that things have changed a little bit around here. That is because we had the three centrifuges, uh, three of these, uh, you'll probably remember quite clearly. We had them lined up here and we were putting all the ingredients in and the rest of the ingredients out. And I was just playing around with it and seeing what we could do with it. It doesn't look like you can have three of those in a line because you've got to have so many belts crossing over it just doesn't work I just could not get it to work and run smoothly so I've gone back and I've changed it um, I've put in these mixers I've brought in a a new drug over here or a, a new ingredient over here and that's got the four-point catalyst that we needed that has then been mixed in with this one here so that we could upgrade it it then heads over through these ionizers and so on, and that gets it to the right concentration here. And uh, where were we? We were cures hyperthyroidism, then we needed to get it down to a two, so it's gone through that. And then we want to go through this chromatograph. You can run three of them if they're just going in, splitting the belts up, but if they start crossing over, that's where it starts to go all horribly wrong. So then we got two side, we got two effects in the drugs, side by side here, and I didn't want to. We could upgrade it if we wanted to. It was it, it added back in the treats diabetes, which is what we started with over here. Um, so basically, we got two running side by side. So that then, I think we lose that one in a minute. But anyway, we get the we want to upgrade then to the multiple sclerosis uh, uh, one, the, the drug. And we brought in a five-point catalyst over here. Um, that's that one. We mix it in, and then we get this lovely red color coming out, which is the fight cancer one. We then need to upgrade it again. And that one comes to here so that it's the right concentration, and it's got to go through the atomic sequencer. We put it through the atomic sequencer, and that one brings it out at a two. Uh, it needed then to run up to five to six and then go through the Hadron Collider plus be mixed in with a six point catalyst. See that one there. So we ran it through here. Uh, why did I run it through this one? Oh, I ran it through this one because I wanted to remove one of the side effects. This prompts fit side effect. It was already at the uh, almost at the right concentration. So I ran it through there. And I've removed this side effect here, and I didn't remove that one yet. I needed to. What I needed to do was I needed a bit of space in the um, in the line there, so that I could add in this one instead. And I'm bringing in this drug over here, uh, the calitoxin rock, the, the, this ingredient rather. And I put it through here, goes into the mixer, and that's the one that we wind up with. Why did I do that? Yeah, it just adds that one in. It just selects it off the bottom because the top ones displace the bottom ones. And we had one gap left there then so that we could add that one in. That one then we want to upgrade again. It's got to be reduced down to a five to six so we get it over to here. Then it goes through the Hadron Collider. This one takes four turns to run through. But once it's gone through there, it's collided, which means that every single ingredient, uh, everything is active at all times. Collided drugs act as though they're at all concentrations simultaneously. All effects are active and the concentration component of all reactions are satisfied. So we got everything on here. So now what I want to do is I want to remove the two side effects that I've got, which I do by I split the line up a little bit over here. I will actually bring it out here and it runs through the collider, the sequencer, and then through a chromatograph and out here and it does the same I've, I've got uh, three lots of them here there's another one so it all splits out and it jumps from the one into the other and then it comes out of the chromatograph and then I've got conveyor belts here that are full of this new ingredient that is a perfect cancer vaccine and it cures the hypothyroidism so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a little look at the packing machine right now that's not all I've done while I was doing that, I thought, well, I'll add in another packing line over here. I've got a, a different ingredient that's coming in over here. This starts off as a soothes cough, and I upgrade it through, and where did it start off? It needed to go 8 to 11, and then be upgraded with the agglomerator. So I've done that, and it's upgraded with the agglomerator, and it comes out here, and that eases asthma. 
I've already got a two point catalyst and then I needed to upgrade it so that it got to 17 to 20 and then upgrade it with a dissolver. So I did that over here. Uh, nope. It came through here at 16, treats bronchitis. That one back there is 17. So then it went through this one, eases asthma, it went through that one and it comes out at the treats bronchitis level. I then want to upgrade it with a cryogenic condenser. Uh, I've run through a couple of ionizers here, or an ionizer and a dissolver. That's run it into here, that's at the right concentration. Through that one, it then needs to upgrade to, it's at the cures tuberculosis level, but it's at concentration of 20. So I've stuck it through the ultraviolet curer, which drops the concentration right down to number one. And I've got three lines going in up here and three coming out down here. So we have here at the end, a perfect cures tuberculosis. And what I'm gonna do, as I've got another line over here, I won't run through all of that one, but basically what we've ended up with is combat sickle cell anemia at the correct concentration. I cannot get rid of that um, side effect there. But what I was going to have a look at a bit of the packing machinery. So first of all, I'm just going to whiz down to the bottom here. And we're going to, have to take a quick look at what packing machinery we've got. I can't move this up any further. So we've only got this little bit of space down here. I can get rid of some of these belts if I need to. I've got loads of these here. So let's just keep that on play mode. Now, the packing machinery that I got, the I can put it through the... Um, oops. I can put it through the pill printer. Increases combined value by 26. The creamer increases combined value by 30 pounds, reduces strength of negative effects by 50%. So we don't need to worry about that because we don't have any ne negative effects. We've got two positive effects. And this one here, increased combined value by 40 pounds for each positive effect in the drug. It would be worth trying to put it through the sachet fabricator. It takes three though. So we're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to delete all these belts that I put in here. And I'll put it through that sachet fabricator so that we get this perfect drug that we've uh, now made running out the door. So if I get that one set up really quickly, uh, this is going to be a little bit difficult to juggle around purely because of the way these um, sachet fabricators sort of face. Uh, I could put one up there like that and then... Ooh, this is where it's going to get a bit more tricky. I can put one down here. Actually, if I could put one there, like that, I could put the other one there, I think. No, I can't do that. That's not going to work. Right, uh, this one is going to have to move. I can put that one there. That one's fine. I can put him right up there as far as he can go. Then this one here, if I move that one around, that one could... Oh, I see. No, I got it the wrong way around. That one can go there. This one here, move. We'll have to rotate him round. And he's going to have to go right back up there. It's still not going to fit, is it? So we'll do this a little bit differently. Let's put that one like that. Move. Uh, that one can go out there. And then that one can go there. So I can put, I can split it off to go that way. And I can run that one into there. That belt can come out that way. That one can come out there. And then the final belt I can put down here. If I get another sachet maker, I can put that one there and run another belt into it. I hope. Should work there. So it doesn't really matter which direction that it flows. So long as it's all... The belts are eventually all connecting up. And then I can run that one straight out the door. So I've got a sachet maker here, which is going to increase 40 pounds per each positive drug. So that's 661 pounds profit there. This one is 610. And then it runs through at 661. It does cost a bit to run through that one. Uh, universal cancer vaccine hypothyroidism. That does sound pretty cool. No side effects whatsoever. That is the ultimate drug that we have made there. It is perfect. It's what every pharmaceutical company dreams of because it basically means that there are no side effects whatsoever. There's nothing that they ever need to worry about with it. So hopefully all of that is going to come out correctly. Some of it is going to run in here and then the rest of it will carry on up past that one. This one here. Yes, that's worked out perfectly. 
So there's that one with the Large Hadron Collider. And if we have a look here, we have the... Oh, we'll see it working now. There we go. Collided. Everything's worked. Everything has gone all together. That is such an awesome machine. That is genuinely an awesome machine. Right. I can't stay here and watch this forever. You'll be able to play around with that if you get this game in... It is, it is a lot of fun just trying to set up all these different lines. Now, the next thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to have a look. So, I've got a side effect there that I can't get rid of. And it's close to the maximum value. The syringe increases combined value by 20%, increases strength of all effects by 50%. That's not any good. We could actually um, have put the syringe injector down over on the other line because it would have increased the effects of it. I'm not going to worry about that too much. The creamer, increased combined value by £30, reduces the strength of negative effects by 50%. Now, this drug over here, this one has got um, two extra side effects that I can remove. This one with an ionizer and this one with a cryogenic condenser. The cryogenic condenser, that one doubles the concentration. So, we'll run it through that. That's what we're going to do. We're going to put it through that and try and remove some of these side effects. Even, yes. Uh, a one, so I want to take I want to take that up five points, uh, four points, don't I? Yeah, four points. Uh, agglomerator. Let's run through this as quick as we can. I want an agglomerator and I want an evaporator. So if I put those two there like that, that is going to set this drug. Let's bring it out that way. That's going to set it to a 5. It goes to a 4 through there, and then it'll run through that one. This will take it up to a 5. So now I can put it through the cryogenic condenser to remove that side effect. And I'll do it. Put one there. And. Ooh. I'm going to put the other one. Hang on a minute. Let's move you. If I put one there and. Cryogenic condenser. The other one up there like that. So that belt will run into there, and that belt will run into there. Then I will collect it out of there and out of there. That. Remove that one. And up there. Okay. That's running through the cryogenic condenser. That's got rid of one of the side effects. The other side effects, I can remove this one at 12 to 14 with an ionizer. So, you know what? I shouldn't really be running it through this one first. What I should do is I should switch that round. I should do that the other way. That should be the final thing that we do. So let's just pause everything. If I move these, put them up there out the way. And that one move up there. So remove these belts. Let's be looking at packing machinery here. I do get easily sidetracked with this game. It's so easy to get sidetracked with this game. Uh, 12 to 14, and that one there is uh, 5 to 9. So, first of all, I want to bring it down 6 points and then put it through an ionizer. So, let's... I want to put it through three of these in succession. One, two, and the third one will go there like that. Belts. Put that through there and that through there. Oops, you're pressing play. Right. Let's remove all of these belts here, because I'm going to move that back in a minute. That one's running through there. Uh, cure tuberculosis. That's perfect. And 12 to 14. Right, so that's going to run through this ionizer here. That's going to remove that side effect there. I can't remove the nausea one. Uh... Why am I worrying about that? I don't actually need to worry about removing the side effects at all because they're not active. Okay, so I got sidetracked. I got sidetracked for no reason whatsoever. So <laughs> um, let's move those. Get rid of them. I don't know why I suddenly decided to do that, but anyway. Sell, sell, and sell. And we'll put these back. I do this a lot. Okay, you, you've probably figured this out by now if you um, watch it. Oops, watch any of my videos. But I do easily get sidetracked, and I usually get it wrong. Uh, so let's put in another ultraviolet cura there, and I'll run the belts back in as quickly as I can. There we go. Right, them round there, that one round there, and up there. <coughs> Excuse me. 
so I was going to put it through a creamer. Uh, let's just get the creamer set up for this one. I'll put that one there. And the only there's only one machine left that I wanted to have a look at to see how it works. And that is the packer because this one puts items into boxes. Right, if I put that one there. What it does is it packages it all up into a box and then you send the box on up the line so you can use just one single item there. This one cures tuberculosis. I don't need to worry about the side effects. So the creamer, uh, it doesn't actually matter what I use. Converting reduces the strength of negative side effects. So I don't need to worry about it for the other line, uh, for this line, because I don't have any negative side effects. But um, the other line, I do have a negative side effect that I can't get rid of. And that was what I was uh, thinking about at the time, I think. Just trying to go back over what I was what I was possibly thinking about when I decided to start changing side effects on this drug. Never mind. These things happen. So if I pop that out the door there, you can combine the two boxes onto the line because it puts two of them together into one. Like that. Another one goes in and that puts it into a box and out it goes. So I'll have two products going out the door here. You Product ask me to name, name one. So I name the one. Sickle cell forget. And then the next Product one it will ask required. me to name as well. Oops. Name, not forget. Right, that's gonna go out the door there. Product name required. There's the next one. This is the tuberculosis relief. So we name that one. Now they should alternate going out the door here that one goes out and then that one goes out so we're sending out alternate drugs are going out the door I'm making one every single day for each of these drugs but because they're going in a box I get basically I get a double helping every other day of the different sorts and that's how that packing machinery works so you can get you can combine a couple lines together if you're short on these exit doors uh, which is quite handy so I think I've got a little bit of time left. Let's just pop down here and the uh, the company you want to have a look at. Uh, it's not that one. It's this one here. The, the sachet is a B-rated drug at the moment. That's obviously going to go higher. It, it, I can't think that it's um, not going to. Successfully vaccinated, 50, 107 administered. Now, I suspect that if we go back to here for some reason it's not sending one out every single day i don't know why oh i think it's because of how that's connected in hmm. yeah it's waiting for that one to come out before it's moving around what we can do though is we're going to sell this one we're going to sell this one and we're going to sell this one we'll remove all of these belts Including the joints. I don't like joints. Put all of these up. Yeah, like that. I'll put a belt in there and a belt in there. Now, we're going to try the syringe injector because this increases the strength of all effects. So I'm hoping that this will actually increase the value of our drugs quite substantially. Uh, if I put one there, I can't put another one in. I could put one up there. That one there. Oops. Uh, makers, syringe injector. That one can go there. I can put another one there. And if I bring this one down just a bit and put it over to here, what I need to do is I want to take the belt off here after the third one of these because you notice that we were ha running into a spot of trouble with that. So if I keep the belt running, coming out after that one, it's not going to try and alternate every time, which means it should then flow and keep all of these belts full. It's, it's kind of how it works. It's, you've got to get your head around how these belts, dis, uh, they alternate one to the other. And that's what makes it a little bit tricky sometimes to keep the line running smoothly. So we should have now syringe coming out. It is more expensive to run out the syringe. But because we're increasing the side effects by 50%, uh, the current product, product is 784. Name required. Name. I don't remember what the sachet was worth as it went out the door. Is it going to tell us up here? 
The sachet here, current value 1769. And that current value is 1833. I think that one was actually worth a bit more. I'm not sure. So we have a look here. That is already better. This, um, You look at the numbers there. I know it's quite low on the numbers already. But it's already increasing in how strong it is. That one's... It seemed to be about half of them working. The new one that we got here, it seems to be most of them are working. So that's how that bit works there. You can always use... We can do 158 points. Good grief. Right. Let's upgrade these. 16. And upgrade those. Uh, what else have we got? What else can we upgrade? We've got a creamer. That's working. Uh, we've got a drug packer. We can upgrade that one. That reduces the... Oh, you also, you, you re the change of value, but you also you can increase the capacity. So you can have four drugs going into the same box, which means that you can get a whole load of extra lines coming Insufficient into upgrade points. Insufficient upgrade points. Thank you very much. Uh, what else have we got? Let's just pop that. Oh, the ultraviolet cure is a rather expensive proposition. Uh, you can't downgrade once you've got them. And I'm bringing, I can't remember which ingredients I'm bringing in, so it doesn't really matter. Um... So, yes, we appear to have now a syringe going out the door every single day. It all seems to have synced up very nicely on there. And hopefully it's going to do the same on here. We've got four of these. They're all running through into the same point back here. Uh, I suppose the test is really is what is coming off of this line here. This one looks like it's gotten a bit stuck. The main reason is this one here. For some reason, this one isn't flowing. Oh, I know why. There's a double line there. That was going in the wrong direction. If I put that one there, that should start them flowing all in the right direction. There we go. That's splitting apart. Yes, there we go. Right. That slowed it down, but the rest of the line is running absolutely perfectly. We're getting one every single day coming out there. And... So that's the game. I am running out of time. Um, this is Big Pharma. It is an awesome game. You can spend hours setting up all of these different lines. Uh, there is a lot that you can do. You can try and combine them all together. We've got the packing machinery now. We'll take four drugs into one uh, pack here, which means that I could actually have two extra lines running out the same. If I was really pushed for space... I could uh, combine a whole load of them together so that I could send several things out the door all at once. Um, I don't need to worry about that right now. And over here, I've got just about everything that you can get squeezed into this line here. Um, yeah, so uh, that was Big Pharma. If you would like me to do any more... Uh, of this game, you know, maybe run through a different scenario or something like that, then head to the comment sections down below and let me know. I'll be starting a new series in just a couple of days' time. I'm not going to tell you what game it is yet. It's something that's aimed at younger viewers. That's all I'll say for now. Uh, but it is a lot of fun. I am enjoying that game. Um, and so I will share that with you all next time. So thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye and see you later.